and Angela, how many thousands of dollars did Michael really give you over the years? How much, you know, because obviously, you know, you were in it for something. So I'm not going to say none of my financial. <laughs> Can't not live two lives. I'm an American. I say Vogue. Here I come. <laughs> Yara, shut up. Bring it up. Over. Talk to you. I need to get my man home to America. As you all are aware, a couple of days ago, Michael called the police and told them that he feared for his life living with the Dirty Bird. And given the way that she's treated him on the show, we all looked at each other like, I bet he does. Tell the next one that don't have proof on me that I have abused him. <laughs> I want you to screenshot the name because I'm going to bring him to court because I'm tired of him slandering me. This is hearsay until he proves what he said I've done. They better shut the fucking mouth. Because you know what? I've always let it roll off, Johnny. But you know what the three lawyers told me today? You heard it. Let's start getting them ones that are accusing you and ain't seen the proof yet. That is slander, and I've always rolled it off because I'm a celebrity. And I, the, anyone that cuts me down, get their IPs and shit and call Todd. You hear me, Scotty? And let's see if they can afford to take back the word. Now, all I want from is an apology. There's that sex, baby. Hey, Angel. Cover, but I take them to court. I'm tired of this, Johnny. Receipts, baby. Receipts. Where's his? Where's his? Oh, we're hollering on TV. Oh, yeah. really? Half of that was staged for a moment to look crazy. My shit ain't staged. It was real. I had to edit him. Yeah. So stage to make you look crazy. I ain't crazy. I, I, I'm real and, I, and I'm a strong woman. I when did I f***ing over f***ing talk to you? And I'll go to the store and race down and they buy the girl f***ing 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 is that call Liz. she loves me to dance we did that the good news is that michael's passport i guess wasn't ripped up by the dirty bird the bad news is is that it's currently in the dirty bird dungeon so i'm sure he's not going to go back to that so this reads michael arrived in the u.s a little over two months ago and ever since it's been hell on earth for him huh? angela seized for his him, passport he's always the victim. okay i have his passport in my hand right now uh angela seized his passport tore it and smashed his phone i have his I mean, I can't show it to you because obviously it would show all the information, but I can take a picture with it and redact everything if you need to see it. Whether the passport was ripped up or not, it's still against the law to take someone's personal property and not return it. Another thing that I find suspicious is that y'all are making it a big deal that he took a picture of his passport. I do that as well because I'm constantly misplacing my passport. Yeah, how do you take a picture of the passport if Mama locked it up? <laughs> He took a picture of what password? He, his passport. You locked it up. Oh, and and and, 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 and ripped it to and ripped it to. And you got it right there where he can left I, can it. Can I say this? I questioned him the day we got here. Sent it to his whore ass sister that got kicked out of the church. Remember, I said, why are you sending your sister your remember? Yes, I do. Why would you send your sister your passport and social security card was here in two days? Uh, already I'm getting a migraine. This was a rookie move because if you're going to make a joke about her ripping up this man's passport when he went to the police and said that he fears for his life living with her, first of all, why do that? This is a very serious topic to cover. Second of all, you should probably clarify that you were joking after the fact, which you didn't, and that resulted in this getting clipped. You see what I'm saying? Because it creates these inconsistencies and that's something that I've seen throughout this live because there's another part where Angela says that she hired an attorney and pays that attorney $10,000 per hour, which is ridiculous. I don't even think Jeff Bezos would do something like that. I don't want to talk about this no more. I got three lawyers, Nigerians, people that back them, get them a good lawyer because mine's $10,000 a an hour. Is is anger and do you agree that that's something that we can work on all the wet socks that are lawyers or have watched that show suits let me know in the comments what you think about that i have an attorney as well and i'll tell you what i certainly would not pay an attorney ten thousand dollars per hour and i'm curious how angela is able to do that because according to google her net worth is around a hundred thousand dollars it wouldn't be the first time that google was off when assessing someone's net worth however regardless Later in the live, she says, when I get an attorney, I'm going to do this, this, and this. I can bet you this. When I get a lawyer, God forgive me. But when I, when I have to prove I'm telling the truth, 
Y'all figure it out. He'll never be on that show again. Figure that out. And that's all I'm going to say. Figure it out. This is another problem for you, Dirty Bird, is that you're a pathological liar and you have a very distorted view of yourself and reality. And I think that plays a huge part into why so many people don't like you. Not to mention you want to talk about attorneys. Do you think a licensed attorney would advise you to talk about these sensitive issues on a live with your blogger friend? She said someone texted you and said, from all the way in Canada, I need to tell you something about Michael. He's not ever coming back ever. He's done. There's nothing Angela can do. She was abusive to him, and currently the law doesn't make immigrants stay with abusers. People all over the world have seen Angela's antics. He's in the U.S. with people he knows, and that's it. He didn't that's get in the U.S. until I brought him. He was so abused, why did he fucking come work for the abuser? He was never abused, so stop the antics. It's cussing and screaming at something. They lied to you. It's not abuse. It's called being an emotional woman. Abuse is when you put your hands on me, or you lock him in the house. Nothing you do, none of that. You told him many times you don't want to be here. Go. Here's your passport. Here's your visa. And he's a scammer. They all stick together. Listen. He's a goddamn retard. Wow, Dirty Bird, that's not very nice to say about Michael, especially because this man has been so patient with you over the past couple of years. He hasn't said one bad word about you publicly. The way that you went about the situation is so whack, and I brought that up in all my past videos, because you financially controlled this man. You used him to get on 90 Day Fiance and all these spinoff shows. And then when he decided that he finally had enough of the abuse, the way that you talked to him, we wouldn't talk to our worst enemies that way. I'm not even sure if y'all have worst enemies, but I guarantee they would get more respect from you than the way that she treats her husband. And I've seen a lot of people say, Angela's so nice, the fans or the people that want to kiss her butt. If you're saying complimentary things about her, of course she's going to be nice to you. The real problem arises when people are honest with her, and that's why she had a huge falling out with her past friend JoJo. It's funny, right, because when we go through the memory bank, that's also why Angie almost beat up Liz, because Liz brought up that she talks over everyone, and Angela can't take criticism. That's why she's so quick to resort to violence. Throughout this entire live, you got Angela, her yes men, and her daughter that went away to jail for molesting children, saying things like, where's the abuse? Well, we've seen the abuse on this TV show many times, but let's just select one example. What about that time when she flew unannounced to Nigeria, started dismantling Michael's car, and then she attacked him? She put her hands on him, pressed him against the wall, and got very violent with him. And if she was a man, she would have been fired from the network a long time ago from that alone. I said this in a past video, but 25% of the victims in abusive relationships are men. And I'm happy that I'm talking about this, a guy, because there is a huge double standard when it comes to a woman putting her hands on a man. So when Angela says things like this, it's incredibly revolting to hear. You scared of a 58 year old and you fucking weigh 240 pounds? And that's also something And you're strong as fucking hell? He's, you know, you're 35, you're 58. Like, I can hold my own. It's so aggravating to watch. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. But that's your argument that Michael is physically stronger than you and weighs more than you. He's a man from Nigeria that just got to the United States. Do you know what would happen if he put his hands on you and defended himself physically? He'd be in jail and then he'd get deported. I'm an American. Can't y'all see that this man used me for a green card? You can go for that argument. But the problem is that you fail to acknowledge that you used him first. It was a whole process to go on this show. You've been on the Murray show multiple times you've wanted to be famous for a very long time. During the live, Angela also revealed that her childhood was lit. She claims that her dad was a millionaire. They don't know really who I am. I'm humble. Humble! And on this show, y'all gonna find out who my father was. I'm very humble. My dad wore t-shirt packing fucking pants. And he had millions of dollars. Ask any of these haters that they have at 15 midnight a fucking car brought to their house at midnight. Ask them did they have a fucking racehorse. Ask them was did they have a golf cart at 12. Did they have a notepad at 11. Ask them did they have $10,000 in their bank at 8. No, the fucker, I ain't got to tell all y'all that. You should love me if I was raised poor or broke. Because I'm real. If what the Dirty Bird's saying is true when she grew up with this abundance, I'm curious why she's so violent and so hell-bent on making Michael's life miserable. Cussing and screaming at something they lie to you, it's not abuse, it's called being an emotional woman. 
Abuse is when you put your hands on me or you lock him in the house. Nothing, you do none of that. Scotty Deem, the daughter of 90 Day Fiance and before the 90 Day star Angela Deem, has been released from prison after serving 15 months for multiple child molestation convictions. The 35-year-old received three 20-year prison sentences to be served concurrently after pleading guilty to three counts of child molestation in early 2019. According to prison records, Scotty was released on parole on May 6th. It was previously reported that Scotty would be getting out extremely early, but those reports indicated that she would be serving at least two years and one day. As a result, Scotty's release after just one year and three months went completely under the radar. Awareness of Scotty's release came after she shared a video on Instagram showing support for the hashtag Black Lives Matter movement. I stand with y'all. That's why my mom makes her bag by demeaning a black man on all these TV shows. One count of statutory rape, one count of aggravated child molestation, and 11 counts of child molestation stemming from multiple instances with a juvenile boy in 2017. The grandmother of the boy reported the allegations against Scotty to police in September of 2017. According to the initial police report, the grandmother told police that Scotty Deem, a good friend of the family, had juvenile at her home while her boyfriend was out of town. While the juvenile was there with her and her children, Miss Deem had sexual intercourse with the juvenile. This incident happened two to three times at Miss Deem's home. The count of statutory rape was for allegedly having intercourse with a child under the age of 16, while the aggravated child molestation charge was for allegedly having oral sex with the boy. The 11 counts of child molestation are broken down into three counts for having the boy touch her inappropriately, three counts for touching the boy inappropriately, and five counts for having the inappropriate touching occur in the presence of other children. As part of a plea deal, Scotty would eventually plead guilty to three counts of child molestation. She was sentenced to 20 years in prison for each count, but was allowed to serve the terms consecutively. Representatives from the Jeff Davis County District Attorney's Office and the court later stated that Scotty would only be serving two years and one day of her 20-year sentence and would spend the remainder of her sentence on probation. I assume that meant Scotty would remain on probation until 20 years after her prison sentence began, but the prison records indicated that her parole end date is January 31st, 2021. On May 7th, Scotty Deem was added to the Sex Offender Registry in Georgia. Mother of the Year, let's clap it up for the Dirty Bird, aka Angela Deem. What a fitting name the Dirty Bird is, because you raised a child molester, and you use this man to make a bag on TV, and then when he finally decides to leave you, you want to play the victim. Here's the thing. You expect us to believe that all of this occurred at your house, and your daughter was sending underage boys at your own home, and you didn't know anything about it? Please. But because of that, I'll tell you what, it sure is frustrating seeing you say things like, you wear your heart on your sleeve and you're so honest. You're not honest. You're a pathological liar. Let the seven-year-old home alone disappear. That's why we thought something happened to him to begin with. Thank you, Mel. think he was dumb enough to leave a seven-year-old child by herself. Who leaves a child unattended? I actually agree with you here, Scotty. You know what? It is very improper, even if Michael's fearing for his life, to leave a child unattended. The problem is that you are someone that molests underage boys while your kids are in the house. So for you to say this about Michael is funny because let's look on the bright side, right? At least Michael isn't like you because if the roles were reversed, you would have banged that kid before he left.